was introduced at the age of 16 to football. I fell in love with the game and using football as a tool for me to pursue academic opportunities and to develop as an overall person. I went on to participate with Sky Football Club, Texas Keen, Colin Keen, and Joel Hyacinth. We didn't have girls at the club at that time, so Jamila trained with the boys. After she came at 16, Jamila made the youth national under 19 team. From being not a footballer to being a national player, and then went on to make the senior national women team. In a few years' time also, she got a scholarship, a football scholarship, to continue her education through the medium of football. Through my affiliation with the club, I was able to secure a scholarship, a full athletic scholarship to Barry College in the United States for four years. While at university, a novel opportunity came. I was awarded a scholarship by the government of Spain that allowed me to study my master's degrees in Spanish, a master's in business administration and trade through the EUI Business School. And there I was able to link up with a club, Deportivo Hispalis, which then was further absorbed by one of the largest men's teams in Spain, which is Seville FC. I was able to secure a contract with Sevilla FC. And there was a premier division which allowed women for the first time to play professionally in Spain. Here's a young woman who went on to play professional football at a time when Trinidadians didn't accept that women should be playing football. But not doing it in Trinidad, but doing it in Europe. Four years ago, I was introduced to sports, triathlons, swimming, biking, and running. I've become so enthusiastic and passionate about the sport. In the last two years, in the national triathlon and the national duathlon, I've placed first and second. She's disciplined, but she's very, very organized. I have known Jamila since birth. She understands her purpose and pursues that purpose. She's strong will and determined. Over that 40 year period that I have known her, she has always demonstrated an independent spirit, a spirit of progress, she has always demonstrated an aptitude for managing dynamics and bringing it together for the benefit of individuals or of a group. So Eastern has really been part and parcel of the journey for me, being able to support my university education. And as a child growing up, participating in camps, from swimming, to squash, to badminton, to aerobics, table tennis, you name it. We had access to all of those things at Eastern as young persons. Football has really been the tool that I have used throughout my life. The discipline on and off the field has stayed with me throughout. Um, and it continues to resonate with me in terms of all of the experiences and opportunities that I've had. And I want to really dedicate my life to be of service to others 